Hi, it's Terry Edwards here, Renegade Recruiter. I want to share with you the best advice that was given to me as a recruiter. Many years ago when I was a search consultant, I was given this advice by my manager and it served me well over the years. And the advice was this, never ever put your clients, your consultants or anyone on a pedestal as you leave them with no other choice but to look down at you. Now, whenever I share this with my clients, so many recruitment and search firm owners get this wrong. Recruitment and search firm owners are, that are so desperate for the business that when the hiring manager says jump, the recruiter's asking, how high? You know what it's like. The hiring manager says, give me a call on a specific date and time. The recruiter calls and the hiring manager's not available. And when they do speak to the hiring manager, the hiring manager says, oh, sorry I wasn't around, I was busy. Like, you're not. And see, and some recruiters accept that's just the way it is. All that happens is that you get treated with little or no respect and you're meant to bend over backwards to meet the client's every demand. But the problem uh, is this, when you consistently put someone on a pedestal, you leave him or her with no choice but to look down at you. It's human nature. Now, it may not happen straight away. It could take weeks, months or even years, but eventually they'll start treating like you, they're better than you. And you really can't blame them because that's what you've led them to believe. To be clear, there is nothing wrong with meeting your client's demands in terms of the results they want to get out of the service, uh, results uh, uh, that they're paying for, in, in, in fairness. But everything else should be on your terms, not theirs. Now, hear me out on this. That includes things that your fees, they should be your terms. How you deliver the service, that's your terms. When you deliver the service, in fact, whether or not you want to deliver the service to them at all. Because at the end of the day, it's your choice who you do work with and who you don't work with. And it's your choice how you work. It's one of the beauties of having your own business. Now, the hiring manager can take it or leave it. But it should always, always be on your terms. Now, I'm aware that as, I'm, as you listen to this, you may be coming out in a cold sweat and thinking, are you kidding me? I'm in no position to turn down business and decide who I'm going to work with. Hell, I have barely enough business as it is. One of the keys to living the life that you truly desire is to have absolute control over your time, your associates and clients and the world around you. Never ever put anyone on the pedestal as you leave them with no choice to, but to look down on you. Now I'll put together a free training video that shares with you the secret on how to attract hiring managers who treat you with mutual respect, who value what you do. So simply click on the link below to get access. Until next time, take care, take action and be relentless.